My name is Xiao Tian Zhu. I'm a director of uh, computational chemistry and structural biology and area. People uh, in our group use molecular biology tools to express and purify protein, particularly for the targets that we're interested in. And then we determine the crystal structures of this protein targets bind with small molecule inhibitors. The structural information is then transferred to our computational chemists, and they uh, use the structural information to design um, new inhibitors that have improved potency and selectivity based on the structural information. When we started working on Perlatinib, trying to find a good pan bcr able inhibitor, we found that for the known inhibitors at that time, they all make a key hydrogen bond to this gatekeeper residue, T315. That interaction was initially used to ensure tight inhibitor binding and also selectivity. But later on, that created a problem uh, and, and open the door for drug resistant mutation. We thought uh, our approach would be to design a chemical linker that can avoid close contact with this gatekeeper residue T315. This carbon uh, carbon triple bond linker has a linear geometry and has pre skinning volume. That fits our requirement to have minimum perturbation to that gatekeeper residue. We also did a lot of work uh, on the scaffold which binds to the kinase hinge region for both improvement of potency as well as PK property. We also uh, designed uh, panadinib to be um, DFGR type of inhibitor. This whole component of the inhibitor not only uh, gives binding potency, but also gives you a different binding mode into the protein target. Once you have the DFG out binding mode, uh, this inhibitor is able to bind across from the upper domain to the lower domain of ABO kinase. This gives the protein some wiggly room so that it can adapt to this bond inhibitor even though it was different mutated residue in the protein. I think panadinib was definitely a good example where structure-based drug design was applied successfully. But I think also equally important uh, importantly is that we had a very good research team across different research areas including biology, chemistry, pharmacology, anatomy, and many different areas. All people from different research groups really made this project possible to identify successfully Planadinib as a drug candidate in our company.